Well, this seems kind of interesting. Okay, never mind. Well, welcome back, everybody. My name is Sablin, and today we have another part of Daybreak V2. Now, if you can see what I just shown you just now, seems like things are getting a little bit dire, I would say, <laughs> in, uh, on certain planets where radiation can be quite extreme to a point that you would need such a thing. Because I believe sleeping is like good enough to reduce your radiation and all. Okay, but back on the, you know on topic today, we are heading to Mercury. Now we we require to we need to obtain two things from Mercury, which is obviously carbon and next potash. Because if its potash is required, well, you saw why it requires. I'm gonna show it to you again. Um, it requires. So okay, what, what am I saying right now? Okay, so we need these two ores. Because sure enough, potash is low, but because they give us the chance to craft it, I believe it's best we do. I don't think carbon's gonna be hard to find, seeing that it's in medium. Uh ah, we also do need infected water, because we do need clear water for uh to create whatever 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 that thing was again. That I'm gonna show it show it again, show it again. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. So there's nothing to really wait, hold up. Let's look at it again. Breathable falls, corrosive atmosphere falls, radiation level 2520. Oof. The radiation is a lot higher. The books. And we're ready. We're ready. Here we go. Here we go. We have everything. Oh, yes. Not, not ready. Did I? Yeah, I lifted here. Okay, two oxygen tanks, I believe, will be enough. Uh, yeah, everything's in our inventory. Let's go. Now, if you guys wondering why I'm fast gaming this, it's because really, I've run out of content, I would say. Uh, I've just scheduled part 30 yesterday. So, yeah, I'm, I, I finally caught up all the content I had. <laughs> or it just means I wasn't really recording. I mean, I, I, I told you between part 24, 25, 26, and even 27. I took long breaks in between that. And I finally caught up and I now need, if I want to maintain my schedule, I now need to record. And I need to record fast. Okay, so we check everything. Then Mercury, Mercury I'm, I'm just surprised that you only can create a space station after you've been there. Which makes sense, but you know. Oh yeah, let's go man. As I remember, Mercury and Venus don't really... Oh my god. Insufficient thermal protection. That is rough. <sighs> now they show. What the bit? I should have linked my book there as well, just in case. Well, we need a way to get back up there. And, uh... Creating another rocket is not one of them. This is, this is, this is such, this is such a bait, I tell you. So much bait. Uh, dude, I even researched it. Now, I should not, I just jumped on and shit went to Mew Creek, but I went to check whether there was even a next set of thermal padding. And that when I check, and you saw me checking last part, I even say last part, there isn't any besides this. And then you go, like, okay, if they're hiding that stuff, it's not cool. You shouldn't hide that kind of stuff. It's like, what the fuck, man? Okay. This, we're in a very tight position right now. I do not want to create another rocket. Okay, so, got everything already. See my rocket is dead out. Dude, imagine, man. I remember this happened last time I was playing Tech Gear. Me and my friends, we, we didn't calculate, well, we didn't plan exactly for proper survivability on planets. And sure enough, you should. You know what I mean? But mistakes happen like this. Well, I've checked, I checked, you, show, you saw me check multiple times for all kinds of suits that I require. And I still missed it. Or at least, it was hidden from me. So... The fact that sometimes when you when you die, the fact that when you die, 
you die really fast on those planets. Like, really fast. Like, I've messed up on, on the moon before. But I felt I had enough time to make my way back on the, on the rocket. On, I believe, uh, Venus. You saw me. I, need, I had to switch to steer to thermal padding. I had more, if, if I didn't have it, I still had more than enough time to fuel up and go back home. Provided you brought, you know, the fuel loader and at least an, uh, a flux point or a source of energy. Which, if you wish, I guess you would, naturally. No, because obviously, unlike me, who has missed Krabu to go back, you would, should have materials to plan your uh, way to come back to Earth. But on Mercury, I had tier 2 padding and it still killed me really, really fast. And you know what it did? After I died, it sent me 4,000 blocks away. I had to use my book and go back home. Four, okay, more, more specifically, 5,000 blocks away because it's 40, it was 4,700 blocks away. I was like, what the fuck? Because I also remember this one point in time. When me and my friends, we were stuck on the moon together. So we went together, both of us were stuck. And we needed, we, and it was only the two of us online on a server. And we needed someone to save us. We, 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 we call out friend, our friend messed up too. And now three of us were stranded on the moon. And we had to call out again for another friend who finally managed to get us back. And even then, it took us a lot, it took us another time to play to actually br bring us all back on Earth. And let's say, let's say there wasn't any other, any other people. We were just had to cheat. What the fuck? You know what I mean? Like, I feel upon launching, right? There's certain things where it needs to be said. So right before you launch, let's say you're going into the moon. You know, you know what I mean? It should say, okay, you should have a tier one spacesuit before you like, launch. And then you like a prom right here. I say, you should have, you know what I mean? At least when people fuck up, they won't like destroy the whole entire world. Like, you know, it's, it's cheating. You know what I mean? Like, what the fuck? Oh my god. Well, now, yeah, I have, now I have tier 3 padding. I need it. I, I think I, I shown you guys what we need. Like, uh, dude, I, I, I can't be bothered right now, seriously. <sighs> Okay, we're here properly now. Can I? Okay, you go. Then bring a bucket. Yeah, I've checked that you actually have to take out the fuel source first. Like, is a bucket worth of oil in there? You need to take it out, then you can, you can destroy it. But I'm gonna leave it there because it's a sign that we landed here. Okay, we should set it up right here. Okay, okay, here we go again. Okay. Now what the fuck are you doing, man? Okay. Put you here. Overworld. Okay. Look, I'm just gonna cut out a lot of things, frankly. Like, you're just gonna see me immediately to the surface, to, to um, what you call that? To one of the dungeons immediately, because I am not... Yeah, sadly, I want to make this as short as possible, because how fucking pissed off I'm, I am right now. Yeah, I, look, I can't even speak properly as well. Son of a bitch. Okay, let's do this now. Okay, so we need to find carbon. 
I wonder what this is. Oh my god, damn. Well, we wouldn't have any issue fighting Dash then, guys. Because... It's, uh... Just got... A lot of it. Okay, so... Seems like if you ever want to find, find Dash... Here will be the place to go. Okay. So, now the hard thing... Is to find a dungeon. Is this infected water? This is like infected water. Oh, yeah, infected water. Very much so. And we have to uh, clean it. That's bare Oh, my God. Okay, so I assume a dungeon will look similar. And we also need to find carbon. God damn it. Ah, uh, oh. I'm gonna cut this out. You see me once I find a dungeon. Okay, this is kind of interesting. This village here. Okay, so I've also found out that if you look at that, that's meteoric iron. So you can find meteoric iron there here, which is pretty nice. Pretty nice. Eh, don't tell me this how dungeons are just gonna be like on on uh mercury, man. Just yeah, can I expose? Wait. Natural elevation is about 100. Damn, imagine Minecraft being like this. It's easily seeing the... Oh. You easily see the bedrock. What is this? Copper. Potash. Don't mind if I do. Um, Mercury iron. Copper. Let me just explore this for a little while and see what uh, they have to offer here. Mercury thinner, Mercury... Oh. This is carbon, right? No, that's not carbon. What the hell? Huh. Solar evaporation chamber. Interesting. I wonder what kind of boss we'll actually see. Okay. Cheese cut, yes. We definitely want cheese cut. That's not something that... Well, actually, it's something that comes by easily, but I want to take it. Hey, you son of a bitch, where's, where's the asshole again? So you got, man. Oi, where you at? Son of a bitch. Ow! A spawn race in here. <laughs> Fuck you, man. Yeah, that's the boss room. Let's put all the stuff in here. Okay. Yes, put all of you here. It's taking up a lot of my inventory. Okay. Okay. What kind of boss is this? Okay, that guy can jump. Yeah, this is... I like this. Chill, pretty chill. It, it fits the setting of how hot Mercury is, even though Venus is actually hotter than Mercury. No, if you guys did not know that. Ah! The voice kind of fits it too. Okay, hurry up, man. Minecraft. I mean, I know one doesn't, doesn't fly. 
so should be able to obtain the XP easily, but you know. Okay, here we go. Tier 4 rocket, we We did it guys, we did it. I'm gonna put it here. Okay. So let's go mining. I'm I'm should go off mining a little bit before we actually find a go on to find another dungeon. To see whether or not tier 4 is the only thing we're supposed to gather here. Because it, it, it won't be wrong to, to say that there will be there should be a Mercury rover as well. Carbon, there you go. It's only one though. Okay, we're coming here for carbon and carbon only. As much as mercury oil is nice, I'm here for I'm here for carbon. Okay, here we go again, guys. Uh, I've done mining. Got thirty six carbon oil and fifteen mercury oil. That's the most we can get. I got four potash, as well. Since strictly speaking, we wouldn't need a lot of potash. And potash is quite easy to find, unlike the carbon and mercury. So I have no quarrels about that. And also moving forward, with how we found dash and meter iron to be in abundance here, you can assume the same is for carbon moving forward. Hello there. Oh, oh, that's the instant KO right there, man. The. <laughs> Even the HP bar couldn't couldn't update in time because it was an instant kill. Oh, he Geiger counter. Nice. Okay. I mean, okay, eleven percent. That's actually really nice. Okay, time to find another dungeon. Let's go. You know, I think we were just very unlucky to not find any dungeons when I first... Oh, not first, but second landed here. Because now I'm finding them a lot easier. <laughs> oh, wait, hold up. Wait a minute. I see you two here. Can right high away from me. How about you? Okay, you're thin. I don't care about you. What up? <laughs> you know, infinite damage really is infinite damage. Okay. Here we go, here we go. Give me some new schematic. A Giga counter again. Okay, one last sign. We take it obviously, one last sign. We find one more dungeon. And if you happen to have either tier 4 rocket or just another Geiger uh, counter, then we just head back. And we conclude our session today. Because our session has been going on for, let's say, 47 minutes? Yeah, no, 48 now. Yeah, 48 minutes right now. It's been going for very, very long. I mean, most sessions actually go on for an hour. But because of the hiccup that we had just now, and the fact that it, we, all that could have been avoided, um, yeah, could be a lot shorter than this. Plus, I went to cook myself breakfast before this, and I still haven't eaten it yet. So, yeah, that's another thing I, I want. That's why I want, like, I want to like complete. I didn't think this would take this long. I was like, I did come on with the fact of knowing that it would take an hour, but it's been an hour and a half since I first started recording, guys. And I told you, I've only hit forty eight minutes or forty nine minutes in terms of recording. But how long I've been sitting here, in here, it's been an hour and a half. So, yeah, you know how much shit went down just now. It's annoying. A bit annoying. Yeah, here we go again. What's up? You do a lot of damage as well, huh? a cool looking key yeah three Geiger counters that's, dude you know that's another level of unluckiness that among everything 
I mean, I got the Nathia Faraka on the first one, but... <sighs> not the rest. And then here's the other thing as well about dungeons. The fighting dungeons are very hard, especially if you don't, if you can't fly. You know? And I feel the one thing they should do as well is to tell you what you can and cannot. But look at the map. Look at how much I've walked. Okay, this is dungeon. Our base is right here. Oops, save it right there. Ah, uh, there, over there. Oh my god. Uh, we found, if we find another dungeon along the way, we're just gonna go into it. And uh, I kind of hope that is, because I mean, going through dungeons very easy anyway. Though I'll probably have enough glowstone for just one more run. But fingers crossed that we see another dungeon on the way back to base. And we do! Lucky us. Okay, let's go. What's up? Oh my god. Dude, that's... Oh, that's super unlucky, man. The fact that... I got myself, I went through five dungeons, and four out of five of them had Geiger counters and not a tier four rocket schematic. Ugh. That's rough. I uh, Galata Craft is truly one of the roughest mo uh, mods to play. I think personally that's why a lot of people don't play it, you know? I don't see too many people actually playing Galactic Craft. Sure enough, it was uh, it's such a rave when it first dropped because it, how cool is it just to travel to planets? You know what I mean? All this exploration. But clearly, execution for the mod is uh, really not desirable, sadly. Some of you might say then, well, why not you just create your own mod? I could. But I did not learn Java. And then some of you may say, well then shut the fuck up then. I'm like, uh, okay, sure. But as one who, you know, knows, especially, like, extra plan is the add-on mod, and yet, all it did was, legit, took all the flaws Galactic Craft have, and then continue on with that. And like, as an add-on mod, you could do, you could have done better. You could. But okay, guys, that's, that's not my marks end for this episode, guys. I'm gonna just wrap it up right here. There's really um not much to to say really that this fucking mission, I tell you, was a piece of shit. So you have a bunch of Geiger counters, which is nice. We got carbon, mercury, potash. All pretty much our mission was a resounding success. Despite the fact that, um, what you call that, we failed to actually land there safely the first time. I probably cut it out, but just know that I died a horrible, horrible death there. And I had to actually use my book to get out, use my miscraft book to get out. And the fact that, let's say, if, let's say if you didn't, why if you didn't have that miscraft book, how would you get out? Because, mind you, I died before I could even land on Mercury. And when after I die, I spawn 4,700 blocks away from where I die. Imagine that. Imagine. Like, what the hell, man? What the hell? Okay, there you go. Discover Jupiter. Yep, Jupiter's right after um, the asteroid belt. So, we have Palladium. We knew that. Raid Gem. Volcanic rock, magma, very oh, oh, radiation level 
45. Oh my god, it's even higher. Okay. Okay. Now let's check. Thermal. Yes. Required for Jupiter and Saturn, including their moons. Required for Uranus, Neptune, Pluto, Aries, including their moons. So this, yep. Now, okay, we know now. We know. We know. He specifically says that as well. So we know. The spacesuit is a different thing. So, we need to craft it, but we require palladium. So we need to head to Jupiter before we can even craft it. So we can assume that we can survive Jupiter at least. We can assume that. Okay, so for a tier 4 rocket as well, which is, uh, where is it? Yeah, here it is. Oh, look at this. Looks mighty cool. Okay. Carbon. At, oh, we need a lot of mercury. We need a lot, a lot of mercury. Okay, not cool at all. Not cool. Okay, we can get cinnabar. There's so much we can do only. Pyro. Oh. Now this is better. Pyro concentrator. Okay, so let me add it to the list of needing a pyro concentrator then. So this is done. Pyro concentrator. Um tier four. For rocket, um, there are three thermal pads, and then mission Jupiter. Okay, so I guess we're gonna take a break next part. We're gonna craft ourselves the Venus rover. We're gonna craft ourselves a pyro concentrator. We're gonna craft ourselves the rocket and the thermal pads before we head off to Jupiter. Because I feel a lot of that will take a lot of time and a lot of preparation needed. Because it's a tier two rocket launch. Uh, Launchpad requires the bigger space, so we also got to expand this and change that. So, f yeah. Uh, so if any of you guys are looking forward to the mission, I guess you could skip next part. But if you want to see how I craft things, how I prepare for a mission, then I, I do suggest you actually watch it. But, okay guys, other than that, uh, mission Mercury was... Partly success. We, it's it's just a success. Okay, we still managed to do it. Now, do we require some form of wizardry to continue on with the mission? Yes, we do. You can take it however you want to, whatever that means to you. Um. But we still managed to did it, and I'm still moving forward anyway. Uh, let's see. Is there anything else that they're researching? Nothing. I believe after. Jupiter is Saturn, and after Saturn is Neptune, and after Neptune is Pluto. And I believe Pluto requires a tier 10 rocket, I believe. Yeah, I, I think. Don't quote me on that. Okay, so that's it for this part. Legit, I said that three times already. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I hope you guys have enjoyed the series as much as I have. And maybe some of you guys upon watching the series know that, okay, maybe, maybe it's better to watch this guy play instead of me playing it because how much how painful it is for this guy to play because i really think that if you are going to play god craft do have a mod pack for you like a mod pack create but extra mod pack so go on um curse for search for like, the most popular space exploration mod pack and you play that whether it be advanced rocketry or galactic craft i think it will be better than my mod pack however if you feel like hey i want to subject myself to this torture as well the list is down below you can go and get it yourself you can craft it yourself so, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next part. Bye bye.